I think the, the real challenge in environmental uh, issues is that uh, everything is interrelated. You're dealing here today with the, with the nexus of uh, uh, agriculture, food, water and energy. Uh, but in reality, uh, there are wider implications. There are implications on um, the, the, the quality of the air, there are implications on, uh, on the soils. Those implications come from the chemical substances that we use uh, and we all depend on uh, ecosystems and, uh, uh, and, and biodiversity. So if we want to address those challenges, we need to take all of those different elements into account because they all interfere with each other. One of the present day examples this year is uh, the year of air quality in Europe, uh, is uh, the way in which uh, climate change considerations have moved the European car fleet to uh, dependency on diesel engines. Diesel engines uh, have the, the reputation of being uh, more efficient. You take more mileage out of a, uh, a barrel of diesel than out of a barrel of, uh, uh, of petrol. Uh, but the downside is that uh, diesel engines emit uh, uh, fine particulates uh, that cause real problems to humans. And we have in Europe today a much worse quality, air quality situation than uh, the United States or Japan or any other developed partner. So it's uh, one of the misorientations uh, coming from overly focusing on effects on climate and forgetting that the remedy to climate problems is causing health problems to humans in Europe. This is possibly the most challenging of the issues. I think in, in Europe uh, there is the beginning of an understanding of the interrelationships, but many of the developing partners that we have are still desperately seeking to lift their people out of poverty and they're looking at the old development models. How has Europe uh, uh, developed its wealth? How has the US uh, developed its wealth? We have done this by burning fossil fuels, by using uh, raw materials, by cutting down our forests, by uh, uh, using the land uh, to, to the hilt. And now they are trying to, uh, to do the same and we will have to convince them that uh, resource efficiency is not only an issue for resource poor Europe, but also for developing countries and that being resource efficient and becoming circular economy actually creates more jobs and therefore lifts more people long-term sustainably out of poverty than uh, uh, the old model would ever be able of doing.